Hello, this is Elizabeth. I am the Catholic lady. I like to talk. Um, I want to read for you today Psalm 10. Prayer for Deliverance from Enemies is the pre-title, and we're reading from the Great Adventure Bible from Ascension Press. Why do you stand afar off, O Lord? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In arrogance, the wicked hotly pursue the poor. Let them be caught in the schemes which they have devised. For the wicked boast of the desires of his heart, and the man greedy of gain curses and renounces the Lord. In the pride of his countenance, the wicked does not seek him. All his thoughts are, there is no God. His ways prosper at all times. Your judgments are on high of his sight. As for all his foes, he puffs at them. He thinks in his heart, I shall not be moved. Throughout all generations, I shall not meet adversity. His mouth is filled with cursing and deceit and oppression. Under his tongue are mischief and iniquity. He sits in ambush in the villages. In hiding places, he murders the innocent. His eyes stealthily watch for the hapless. He lurks in secret like a lion in his den. He lurks that he may seize the poor. He seizes the poor when he draws him into his net. The hapless is crushed, sinks down, and falls by his might. He thinks in his heart, God has forgotten. He has hidden his face. He will never see it. Arise, O Lord, O God, lift up your hand. Forget not the poor. Why does the wicked renounce God and say in his heart, you will not call to account? You see, yes, you note trouble and vexation, that you may take it into your hands. The hapless commits himself to you, and you have been the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked and evildoer. Seek out his wickedness till you find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations shall perish from his land. O Lord, you will hear the desire of the meek. You will strengthen their heart. You will incline your ear to do justice to the fatherless and the oppressed, so that man who is of the earth may strike terror no more. God bless.